So your parents weren't mad at you, and you dropped out of college. Yeah. After that, like, you go back to San Diego. Why didn't you yeah. stay in Atlanta and pursue music there? Because um, I wanted to go back to San Diego and be around my homies. Mm. You got they had, homesick. Yeah, <laughs> they they started 1207, you know what I mean? Uh, and, uh, like, we had a little bit of family trouble, so I had to go back to San Diego off top. And mm -hmm. I mean, I wanted, I was ready to go back anyways. I wanted to link with my homies in and get into 1207 to get music started. So it, it all kind of worked out. So now you, your son is born, right? Yeah. So how's that? How's, how's being a father and pursuing <laughs> music? You're like touring, you have a bunch yeah. of shows. Uh, it's hard, like, being away. Mm -hmm. For real, like, I, I try to, uh, like, FaceTime or Snapchat video with him every day if I can, but it's like, it's definitely the best thing that's happened to me being a dad. Better than all this rap shit, like better than everything. Right. For real, like my little boy is like he's my world. Like he, he's like he's just so full of energy, man, and all smiles and just happy every day. Like right. I love my little boy. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like the stars were aligned for you because yeah. there's a lot of bad stuff happened, but then it, it reached its peak at some point. Yeah. You know your song went. You got yeah. what, almost seven million views on YouTube about. Um, on YouTube, yeah. I was like getting like forty million. I think God like damn! 40. Okay, we got hella millions. <laughs> <laughs> we got hella millions these like, days. All these millions. <laughs> we got hella millions these days. You, you have those hits. You have that hit. You have your son, yeah. who's like another blessing to your life. Yeah. Let's go back and talk about how Chill Bill came about. Um, how did it manage to go viral without you pushing it on blogs and media? You just literally just yeah. SoundCloud that shit? and Yeah, SoundCloud, and they got some millions on SoundCloud. Then we dropped the official video on YouTube a year later, and I got a couple million. And then, like, I don't know, it just was picking up. Uh, on, like, Internet Success, it was picking up. And, uh, like, we had our hometown behind us, so they were pushing us hard. Right. And then uh, the first Vine that helped it was, like, a flaming basketball shot. Mm hmm like from NBA Jam, that was the first Vine that kind of like gave it a boost. And then <laughs> then the one thing that made it go viral for real was our fight video when we beat some niggas up at the beach. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so we beat some niggas up and our cameraman ended up having to be there and record the whole thing. And that shit was like probably the best fight video of 2016. What was the fight about? Uh, just some fools hating on me, like oh, okay. some hating ass fool. We named him G Sleepy. Oh, you knocked him out, huh? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he was just on some fuck shit. Like we had just got back into town, you know what I mean, from like LA or wherever the fuck. I don't know. We had just got back into town, and I just wanted to go to the beach. I was like, yo, I call my niggas up, no, I call the driver. We went to the beach, and um, and then so we was like walking on the boardwalk by the water and then like we see the group of dudes and then like I noticed them instantly like as soon as they see me like they get all like riled up mm -hmm. and then like so we go into like the amusement park at the beach and, like to go ride rides and shit and like we noticed they're like following us from a distance and then so we were all getting on the ride except for my cameraman who was gonna film us on the ride and then I was like nah like because I noticed them and he had said something like I think they're following me so I stayed off to make sure they didn't t like jack him you know what mm -hmm, I mean because mm -hmm. I definitely thought they was gonna try to take his camera I put like five bands in his backpack right. <laughs> I didn't want to lose my shit so then I stayed off and then as soon as the roller coaster took off with all my homies, them niggas ran up trying to press me and jump me, like surround me in the corner and shit. And that's like when you see like I had got up out the corner, that's when the video started, you see me like I'm like, yo, like who the fuck are you? Right. And then um yeah, and then security came, like all my homies got off the ride, like we swarmed them and they didn't want to funk, like security came, kicked them out. And then in the cut in the video, we're leaving, we're already going to the parking lot and then the motherfuckers just ran back up. You see us all talking, and us talking all that shit, and then the homie just slept that nigga. We put our song over it. Shit went viral. <laughs> <laughs> like, gang, I think that's gang. so funny. Well, I mean, even on SoundCloud, that was that the first song you put up? Yeah. You put up a picture, and that was the first song. Chill Bill was the first song put up. That's a, that's like an amazing story. It's It takes people, like, forever just to get a couple million views. You know what yeah, I mean? It's, forever. Just it's, Or even just a, a hundred. The shit was meant to happen. It's meant to be, huh? Yeah, that's how I feel about it. Right. <laughs> Do you have any advice for our artists that want to pursue it and, you know, want the same success? Just do this shit because you love it. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell everybody every time, just do it because you love it. Like, I didn't do this shit with intention to get on. 
Like, I mean, I wanted to be a rapper, but I didn't, I didn't expect to be sitting in this damn seat with cameras and shit. You know what I mean? Like, it was really just a bond between me and the homies. Mm -hmm. And, like, the music is kind of what just held us together, and it was just fun. So it was just, our, like, a passion for all of us. And then, like, what made me want to get on is because I had a kid on the way. That's when I started, like, yo, I, wanna, I need to get mm -hmm. popping. But before that, the start of it was just, just fun and friendship, for real. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So... Without the passion, you ain't going nowhere. So how would you say your performance <laughs> level is, like, when you're on stage? You just started. So what was your yeah. first show like? Oh, the first show, we was just screaming. And shit, <laughs> you know what I mean? But our performance was terrible, but the crowd was lit. Like, <laughs> yeah, like Chill Bill was stupid. Like, the show was lit. That's how I knew we was going to get on. I knew it was special because the very first show we threw, like, it, it was wild. Like, right. the crowd loved us. And then... We threw warehouse shows, like $5 warehouse shows in San Diego, like for like two years straight. And mm -hmm. it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And like my last show I did in San Diego was like 1,500 people mm -hmm. in the observatory. So, That's dope. Yeah, it's crazy. So tell me, how did your RCA deal come about? Uh, RCA, um, I guess, like, they found me like all the other labels did. Okay. <laughs> was there, like, a war, though? Was there, like, a bidding war at some point? Hell yeah, it was a bidding <laughs> war. Everybody wanted to get a Right. <laughs> but I wanted to go to RCA because I didn't, like, every other label, I felt like it was just on some corporate shit. Like, they wanted to milk Chill Bill. They didn't really give a fuck about Rob Stone. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But RCA, I felt like they cared, or not necessarily cared, because I don't know them give a fuck. Mm -hmm. But I felt like they were real, like, they really fucked with Rob Stone. They really, like, were interested in the whole project and everything behind me more than just Chill Bill. Right. You know what I mean? I felt like everybody else was just like, oh, let's take Chill Bill and, and get this money. Mm -hmm. Everybody else was like, nah, like, RCA was like, nah, like, we're going to take a chance on Rob. You know what I mean? That, and my A&R was dope as fuck. Like, I fuck with him tough as fuck. Like, right. He's cool, so. My whole team at RCA is actually dope as fuck. Yeah. Bunch of, it's a bunch of young niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they, they understand your vibe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So how hard is it for people to know Rob Stone versus Chill Bill? Like, do they call you Chill Bill when you're walking down the street? <laughs> <laughs> people, I think people do it jokingly. I think, you know what I mean? I don't think, like, at first it was, it was nobody knew Rob Stone yet. But now, today, people know Rob Stone. Right. You know what I mean? It was before, like, oh, that's the guy that made Chill Bill. And I was like, nah, nigga, that's Rob Stone mm -hmm. these days. So it's lit. How, <laughs> how important is it for you to be known versus, like, Bryson Tiller likes to cover his face? And, you know, like, a lot of people are I, know, I got a gorgeous-ass smile. They didn't see this <laughs> shit. For real. I'm getting tats and shit. They didn't see me. <laughs> for real, I'm trying to be on TV and all this shit. For real, for real. And, you know, your crew, you know, 12, what is it, 1207? Yeah, 1207. So, like, how, how did that name come about and... How like how important is it to have them around? Twelve oh seven is everything. There's no Rob Stone without twelve oh seven. Mm -hmm. There's no twelve oh seven without Rob Stone. There's no twelve oh seven without Spooks. You know what I mean? We yeah. all you know, it's deeper than the music. We all are like we play that factor in each other's life. You know what I mean? But twelve oh seven is everything. That's my squad, like they wild, they mm -hmm. we all talented in our own way and all of our music is different. So when it comes together, it just it makes for some crazy, crazy shit. Like people love our collabs, like especially me and Spooks. When we collab, like it goes fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. like, every time.